All right, guys, how's it going? Some of you will have seen these comments. Um, Mike Lowen talking about Darwin Nunes uh, and the madness of the finish in the game at the weekend. Um, and I want to go over them with you, what he said. So the headline here, for example, uh, and there are many out there, and I've just picked this at random. Uh, I've not read the article. Michael Owen reveals concern over Darwin Nunes' madness after stunning finish in Liverpool win over Brentford. Nunes beat Mark Flecken with an audacious dink to give Liverpool the lead. So, uh, we will try and read this article around all the, um, the adverts that are popping up on this uh, website. Uh, the Standard, I don't know if I told you that, The Standard. Michael Owen has warned Darwin Nunes he has to adapt his finishing, revealing his concern despite the striker's superb goal in Liverpool's win over Brentford. Uh, right, we don't need that bit because that's just guff. Uh, so Diego, uh, Diogo Jota's clever header played Nunes clean through on goal and from just inside the area, he produced a wonderful dinked finish as Mark Flecken moved off his line. Don't need to read that. Nunes has often been accused of lacking a ruthless edge in front of goal, but he now has five goals in his last seven matches and 13 in all competitions this campaign. Despite that good run, former Liverpool forward Owen took to social media to question Nunes' decision-making, even if he was hugely impressed by his goal against Brentford. Owen posted on X... That finish from Darwin Nunes yesterday was insane. I can't stop watching it, and I can't begin to explain how difficult a skill that is. Moving at pace, the ball running away from you, being inside the box with no room for error, incredible. But, capital letters, it is also further proof that if he is to get closer to becoming the great player many people think he can be, he has to adapt his way of thinking. I mean, to even consider that finish is madness. It's a 1 in 10, 2 in 10 finish at best. Learning to slot, dink or go around the goalkeeper is a far more productive way to score and will increase his chances to 4 or 5 in 10, thus massively increasing his end return. I'm really not trying to rail on his parade as that goal was pure class, but I'd rather see it when Liverpool are 3-0 up and not at 1-0. Um, and that's probably, uh, you know, the rest. There's, I don't think we need to look at anything else. Um, so... What do you think of those comments? I, I, need to, I just want to reference uh, something he said here. Uh, please let me find it. This one here. It's a 1 in 10, 2 in 10 finish at best. I'm a football fan, right? And to see a goal like that is absolutely everything uh, that I want to see in football. Do you know what I mean? Like... I completely understand what Owen is saying there. Like, you know, don't fuck around when it's nil-nil and stuff like that. I get it completely. Um, but because of the criticism I've seen Nunes um, receive, including criticism from me, uh, to see him do that, man, I'm like, yeah, man. He's showing me he's got some brilliance. Yeah, we know about all the chances he's missed, but we also know about all the stuff that he's contributing to the team in general. All right? So, the way I look at it, a 1 in 10, 2 in 10 finish at best, I would take that. I know if he misses that and the game finishes nil-nil, right, then people would be saying he shouldn't be sure about it and he shouldn't be doing that. And I understand that completely. But over the years as a football fan, there are sometimes you see some brilliance and it's so rare to see it. And it can make the game a bit, you know... I mean, yeah, he taps in, you know, he buries it, whatever. Fine, it's a goal. That's all that matters, the three points, you know. Maybe the manager would turn around to him and say, fuck, you don't be doing that again at nil-nil. I get it, completely get it. And attempt it when you you are, uh, you know, when you have an advantage. So I, I do understand what Owen's saying. And he's, Michael Owen's being slaughtered for it. But there's also some Liverpool fans on social media... Uh, that are give, you know, still giving Nunes a hard time. These are Liverpool fans as well. And uh, for me, I get it, but fuck me. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm, it, when you pull something like that off on FIFA, do you know what I mean? How good do you feel? <laughs> so imagine doing it on the stage uh, like that. And um, Does that make him more confident now? Could you not argue that as well? Like, yeah, fuck me, man. I'm the daddy, you know? So I don't know about you. I would love your thoughts. I think most of us would agree with the... 
Hello. Mm, nice one. Uh, I think that uh, most of us will, will agree with what Mike Lowen's saying, but surely, is there anyone out there that's like me that's like, no, nah, fuck it, do it every time, man. No, all right, I know. No, because every time it wouldn't be rare. I thought it was a mingo, man. Absolute swagger, man. I loved it. Really did. Uh, do you think Mike Lowen should keep his mouth, <laughs> mouth shut? Uh, or, I don't know. I, I think opinion, opinions might be split a little bit on this one. I'm not sure. All I can say is I'm a football fan. And when you see brilliance in the game, that's what it's all about. And it is very rare to, you know, do you know what I mean? To see stuff like that, uh, even more so from Darwin. But uh, I like, I actually really like Darwin Nunes. I've grown to really like him. And I don't think that, you know, I think in the past, you know, I've been critical of him. And I think so of other people, it's constructive criticism. I want him to do well all the time. Uh, you know, and there's times when he has missed things and you're like, oh, for fuck. You know, and I just, at one point, I really did think, it's not going to work out for this lad at Liverpool. But the more the season's gone on, I've seen his overall gameplay. Uh, I've I've really taken to him. I have. Uh, and I do really, really like him. And OK, maybe he shouldn't be showboating uh, at times. Uh, or like, you know, you shouldn't try and attempt things like that when you if your team is nil-nil or something. Um, but for me, on this occasion, I'm absolutely delighted for him. There you go. So let me know what you think. Uh, please thumbs up the video if you appreciate my efforts in uh, making a video. It doesn't mean you have to agree with me. Uh, but more importantly, leave a comment for me. Did you hear Remy then? He went, Meh. he's sulking because I told him off. He laid on the sofa. All right, guys. Have a great day.